These pretty little pumpkins make a big statement at your holiday table. Smaller pumpkins like these are perfect for lots of tabletop projects. So today I'm going to use these cute little pumpkins to make candle holders. Super easy. So what you do is you start out with a bunch of these little guys and you're going to get as many as you need per so that every guest basically has one in front of them. And you're going to need a cordless electric drill like this with what's called a spade bit. Now I chose a three quarter inch bit because I'm using candles that have a three quarter inch base. So you get the bit that matches your candle. And what you're going to do is you're going to hold on to your little pumpkin really firmly and you're just going to start your bit. Okay. So I went through my pumpkin and now I'm just going to use the back of a spoon. If you've got a spoon like this, this is a perfect small pumpkin uh, scooping spoon. I'm just going to scoop out all of the insides of my little pumpkin like that. I happen to have one that I've already pre-scooped. It's right over here and this one's nice and uh, hollowed out so you can see there's a nice big hole in there. A three quarter inch hole which is perfect for our candles but before I put my candles into my pumpkins I'm going to kind of zhuzh it up a little bit. This is super easy. I started out with this floral pick and I picked it out of the craft store because I liked the leaves and I liked these little squiggly viney things. You're just going to kind of cut the pieces that you want to use. I'll cut that one and I'll maybe peel this leaf off. Maybe squish this down a little bit so it looks a little bit tighter like that. And then because these have wire, they're super easy to use, you're just going to kind of tuck it in to your pumpkin like that. We put them right next to one another. And you can always reshape these once they're in. Then once those are in there, you can stick your candle right inside. Now this candle to me looks a little bit too long. No big deal. You can always cut this down. And you just need a good strong serrated knife. And I'm going to cut off, let's say, about an inch. I'm just going to hold it really still and just use my knife and just go right through it like that. Perfect. So now it'll fit right in there and the scale seems a little bit better. So I'm just going to finish it off with a little double knot like this. So I'm gonna, just going to tie one and then tie the other and just kind of tuck it down there. And there we go. And you know what? This is going to add the most adorable finishing touch to your table and seriously, it took less than 10 minutes. Mm -hmm.